Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 24th, 2020. So hey everyone, why don't you go grab your beverage of choice, settle in, and let's get started on the Friday edition of the morning market prep. Let's take a look at the diamonds here first. And as you can see, diamonds had a little bit of a rough and tumble day yesterday. We uh, dropped 200 points just really, really quick yesterday, pushing back down and we found that price support right there bouncing right off of it. Now the recovery was very, very strong yesterday in the diamonds, but notice that we still um, have some work to do here in the Dow itself. We've got some resistance above now in the chart and a little bit of work to do here before we actually get a full recovery. However, if you look at the Dow futures, during the night we had um, kind of modest modest bullishness going on in the futures markets. But late, well, middle of the night, the World Health Organization came out and announced that they have held off on declaring a global health emergency due to the coronavirus. And uh, markets just immediately responded um, to that news. Asian markets that had been um, lower most of the night uh, quickly responded higher to close mostly bullish uh, last night. And European markets that were pretty much flat um, in the middle of the night just immediately jumped up, uh, starting to show um tremendous bullishness this morning and U.S. futures quickly responded um, expanding that bullish look um, after that decision. Now the question is what they said is they're not declaring it yet. They didn't say that they weren't going to declare it. They said they were not declaring it yet. So uh, the market breathed a sigh of relief but I wonder how that will actually translate into the weekend with the virus continuing to, to expand. There's only been 25 deaths, but 25 deaths attributed to the coronavirus. And now the infected has expanded to more than 800. So this continues to grow and it'll be an evolving story. And it's going to be interesting to see how the market reacts to that. As we head into the weekend, is it possible um, that the expansion um, of that disease actually actually makes the World Health Organization um, take action over the weekend. Uh, be interesting to see. So um, what happened then is we um, were just responding very bullishly um, here this morning, gapping up in the Dow. And even though with that gap back, back, back up, we still have some resistance in the Dow that we'll have to deal with, but nothing major here. We did a really good job yesterday. The bulls held up well, they held trend, they held support. What else can you ask? Um, the bears were roused just uh, briefly. Um, and I think um, with those calming words from the WHO, uh, they settled back into some hibernation here for at least for the day let's take a look at the spy spy had a bearish reaction but certainly not as dramatic as that of the dow and as you can see we pulled back but we didn't even come close to testing um, a little, this little bit of support right here, but it was a fairly strong pullback. Now this morning we're looking at a gap up open and that gap up open is going to be really, really close to maybe breaking into that new record high position. It all depends on how these earnings this morning continue to roll out, how the markets respond to um, any of this news about the virus and, and um, where that goes from here. So keep an eye on that. Really a good opportunity, a really good chance that we could see new records here on this Friday. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues just pretty much, I mean, there was a little tiny reaction lower, but pretty much ignored um, everyone else and said, we're, we're so um, excited about the Intel earnings report. We don't care what the rest of the market's doing we're going to hold up here and they did just exactly that closing up um, on the day 
Uh, not breaking out to new record highs, but a new record high close uh, by the end of uh, yesterday. And this morning with that big Intel beat, you can see um, we're looking at a gap up open to set a new record high uh, at the open. Bulls, extremely tenacious. Now, one thing I have to say, and I'm going to continue to repeat because I believe this to be true. If you take a look at this trend here in uh, the NASDAQ, we are seriously reaching out into parabolic territory and continuing to stretch this up um, just continues to make me nervous as I'll get out. Any stumble from one of these big companies next week, we have Apple, Amazon, Facebook, um, uh, Microsoft reporting next week, just to name a few. Any stumble from one of those big companies could really send us tumbling. And just keep in mind how quickly it could go. Um, let's... Um, um, just just imagine really quickly how um, how far we could really fall uh, just finding some support um, in the price action. So just keep that in mind. We're getting very parabolic here and you're going to want to be a little bit careful how you trade this. Don't get caught up in this. Um, I'm missing out on this and, and rush in buying up everything here at the end of the move. Um, we want to be kind of careful with that, not to chase uh, stocks in this kind of just rampant bullishness um, in the market. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM um, struggled yesterday, uh, breaking down pretty hard, but ending up the day, uh, leaving a little hammer here. And that hammer is a pretty nice sign. Whoops, my tool changed on me there. Is a pretty nice um, sign um, overall. We held that trend um, nicely in here and held this price support and that's what we needed to see happen and we kind of responded to some of this price support right in here so now we need a little bit of follow-through and this morning you can see IWM is looking for a gap up open as well but we want to keep in mind we have a resistance above so we might need a little bit of extra push to make it through that resistance high um, in that chart but IWM um, responding right back here this morning and it looks like we're going to have a pretty decent Friday let's take a look at the VIX now the VIX was interesting yesterday um, we started to spike up and we um, really took off there for for a while and I'm showing you here on the daily chart here's here's that daily chart we really started to perk up in that fear and then um, the world Horth or the calming words from World Health Organization came out and the market started to respond back higher and um, things seemed to calm down so if we look at a 15 minute chart you can see we had that big spike up that fear coming into the market, but that tailed right back off. And we've come back down to test this uh, support area in the chart. Let's go back to the daily. That support area um, really runs right through this area right in here. We're holding that support in that price action. Now with the bullishness this, this morning, I would suspect that fear will continue to subside pushing us back down in this area. We'll have to see how we respond as we move toward the weekend. Just with the worries of the coronavirus and the expansion of that, what the World Health Organization might do before Monday. Um, and so we'll want to watch that kind of closely, but keep an eye on this. So far, no major problems here. And as you can see, haven't broken that downtrend. We're wedging this uh, price action out in here and we could stay in here for another several weeks um, winding winding this up um, in that wedge pattern let's take a look at t2122 interestingly enough t2122 um, early on yesterday our uh, t2122 was all the way down here we were very very close to um, right in that bearish reversal zone on that sell-off 
But the rally back yesterday brought us right back up here to the midpoint. So what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that we have plenty of room for an upside move today. Um, that gap up open, certainly justifiable in the T2122. Um, that little pullback in the market helped relieve some of that overbought pressure in the market. And so we have more upside room here now. And we also have downside room to move if something else were to occur and trigger some more selling in the market so watch that closely not giving us a direction but um, uh, is giving us opportunity on both ways um, in the market but i think you know friday as bullish as we are right now we're likely to see a pretty good day at least for the first part of the day it'll be interesting to see how um, they handle um, handle the market as we head into the weekend. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see some profits being taken. Um, I know that's what I will be planning on doing. Um, I It's kind of my typical typical mode is um, if I have profits that I can take, if I have any concern over the weekend of, of events that could create an issue for me, I just prefer to tuck my profits safely away in my account. And I sleep well for the weekend. I come back on Monday and make my decisions uh, based on what I know um, at that point. So I may be looking at trimming some of my risk um, heading into the weekend. Let's take a look at some of the things that could be affecting the market for today. And really a light economic calendar uh, today, as you can see, we have the PMI flash this morning at 9.45 a.m. Eastern Time. But other than that, really nothing on the economic calendar to move us around. So, uh, and right now, uh, according to consensus, that should come in uh, uh, really good. I don't expect that to cause any kind of major reaction in the market whatsoever. What will create some reaction is likely in those earnings reports. We have a little bit fewer, uh, I mean, a lighter day today on Friday, which is typical. We kind of get a little bit, bit of a break on Fridays. Um, but we do have some stocks that we'll want to pay attention to uh, this morning. One being like AXP. AXP reporting, and you can see AXP reporting bullishly this morning, moving on on higher so American Express got that good report out we have NEE NEE reporting today this thing has just been a uh, an amazing run um, in the chart and we'll have to wait and see what that report comes out and says but so far um, not seeing much there um, SYF, SYF reporting. You can see it looks like they're gapping down here this morning. SNV, uh, still no report there. Bid ask spreads really wide, but still no report there, it looks like. And APD, some of the um, more notable here this morning. And we just have a big wide bid ask spread here with no report on that just yet. So keep an eye on some of those key earnings reports uh, this morning. Well, there's, about, there's about 36 reporting. Um, so with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But just before we do, if you guys would do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos um, and haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can make sure and be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are, are uh, just to provide um, good quality information without the hype and drama that you might be seeing in other places or even in the news and helping us um, remove some of that emotion to focus on the charts, focus on the price action and the technicals of the charts and maybe help us uh, determine a, a better approach um, for the market day and if you find this helpful please click that thumbs up button and leave a comment and i want to say thanks to everyone who does do that you guys are truly awesome we continue to grow the channel and i thank you so much for that you guys um thank you it's it's very humbling Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. Please keep in mind that anytime I post a stock or show a stock in the video, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. 
But these are stocks that you might want to put on a watch list, evaluate and see if they fit you personally. Let's take a look at Angie. Angie is one, um, I've brought this one, this one up a couple of times. Angie pulled back yesterday with everything else, but what we ended up doing is holding on to this trend. We held right on to that trend and uh, put a little hammer in here. If this can follow through now, um, today or in the next few days uh, follow this up but we may even have to wedge finish wedging this out before that pops up I want to keep an eye on this uh, for that possibility of that move that could fill this gap over here now keep in mind it reports on 25 that may mess up this entire idea but let's keep an eye on that chart um, and see if that can move along I noticed um, eBay yesterday eBay is is in this pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. Rounded bottom breakout pattern is when that 50 day moving average has been moving down very sharply. The stock gets way oversold um, in the short term. And then we begin this process of recovery. The rounded bottom breakout pattern actually occurs when that 50 day moving average starts to turn up and we start getting prices to hold above that area. Let's keep an eye on eBay. Once again earnings are likely to cause us a major problem here they're going to report on the 28th it's going to be really difficult maybe to get into that trade without some wild speculation on what the earnings may do but there you have a really nice round of bottom breakout pattern and really the textbook um, round of bottom breakout pattern if you want to study um, that let's take a look at twitter here twitter has been pretty darn strong and if we take a look at uh, twitter we have this nice little trend and we broke our downtrend here so everything is looking pretty copacetic here we broke through that resistance area and now we're consolidating that move over toward trend we tried the last couple of days to poke up and break through there and we'll want to watch that pretty closely to see if there's that opportunity that breaks higher works on filling this gap once again i have to point out earnings could really mess us up earnings just around the corner here we'll want to keep an eye on that um, I don't know if I've mentioned it uh, lately, but I hate earnings. Um, they really mess up really good trade setups and just um, they they really inspire gambling and um, and convince traders to place undue risk in their trading around those earnings reports. So keep an eye on it. Um, but earnings may cause us a problem here. Let's take a look at Starbucks. Starbucks found its footing yesterday after pulling back. Notice we ran into this resistance here and we were kind of hanging on to this um, area as support. And then yesterday we gapped down, roared right back in a nice bullish pattern. So don't be too surprised if um, Starbucks still needs to consolidate this move a little bit in here. We'll want to watch that close for that opportunity, though, that that may pop out. And here again, once again, I got to point out that this is going to report earnings soon. That may mess up any plan that you may have on that trade. Just keep an eye on it. But um, really good pattern as of yesterday. Quick trade in here, certainly doable, certainly possible. Take a look at Shake Shack. Shake Shack, nice pattern here. Unfortunately, Shake Shack is on the calendar for a report today. So let's watch this one. I've got a, this alerted. We'll have to wait and see. After breaking through this resistance point, we have this gap above. And uh, excuse me, this doesn't report today. It reports in one month. Um, looked at that wrong. So we have about a month on this for this to make a move. So my alert up here is good. I'm just going to watch and wait as this continues to consolidate and um, maybe starts to set up its trend. So let's watch that in there for that next opportunity and possibly that gap fill up here in Shake Shack. Keep a close eye on it. It's looking pretty good. I also like uh, Lulu. Lulu isn't going to report until 325, and you can see 
nobody wants to sell it. Um, we like those uh, stretchy pants. And as you can see, this nice little consolidating move in here, nice tight consolidation moving over to trend. Um, keep in mind the bigger trend is a little bit further away. So it is possible this could consolidate um, or more, more of a pullback over toward that bigger trend, as you can see. But if this takes that opportunity in here and pops out, we might wanna be watching that for a nice upside move in um, Lulu. Good looking chart. How about blue? Blue kind of, well, disappointed me um, yesterday. Selling off and did not recover here. Now this is one of those biotechs and I don't tend to trade these at all. I only report on those to, um, you know, for those who don't mind trading the biotech um, stocks. They tend to just be so volatile and um, very, very difficult to trade that I just tend to stay away from them. I like the simple, easy trades. But if we can hold this trend down here, if we can hold that and bounce up off of there, there may be an opportunity here in blue, one to put on your list, kind of keep an eye on um, in that chart. Um, lots of other charts out there to pay attention to. I mean, more than you can possibly trade. I still think AMD is looking good in the big earnings report on um um, Intel probably going to help that one this morning. It's earnings coming on the 28th. That makes it tough to trade. But just keep in mind, uh, a lot of the tech stocks will be moving up with that good earnings report um, out of Intel. So keep an eye on these things. Lots of stocks moving around. Like I say, that you just couldn't possibly trade every single trade out there. Um, right now that's uh, looking good or, or looking bullish. So hopefully that was helpful to you, everyone. Hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And more importantly, I want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.